Hi guys! So in this video, our topic is all about the applications of differential equation. So in this particular video guys, we are going to discuss about radioactive decay. So a radioactive material or an element is said to be radioactive if it is unstable, its mass decreases over a period of time. So the concept is that the time rate of change of the substance or the time rate of change of the amount of the substance Q with respect to time is directly proportional to the amount of the substance Q at any time t. So as you recall in algebra, in proportionality problems, you need to introduce a proportionality constant. So this expression here is the rate of change of the amount of the substance with respect to time. K is the proportionality constant and Q is the amount of the substance at any time t. So let's derive its general equation. So if we separate this guys, we have here differential of Q all over Q equals to K differential of T. Then we integrate this both sides. We come up to a general solution which is ln Q. So this is ln Q equals, we have here KT plus C. So this is our general solution. So our solution for this application of differential equation will be based on this general solution. So as you can see here guys, we have two constant. Therefore, we need two boundary conditions in order to solve for these two constants. So let's solve our first sample problem. So in this first problem guys, we have radium decomposes at a rate proportional to the amount at any instant. So in 100 years, 100 milligrams of radium decomposes to 96 milligrams how many milligrams will be left after 200 years? So our concept, same you have here. The time rate of change of the amount of the substance is proportional to the amount of the substance at any time t. You have here differential of q all over q equals to k dt. So integrating both sides, we have here ln q equals to kt plus c. So based on the conditions in the problem, we have so the initial mass of the radium is 100 milligrams. Therefore, at time 0, that is the initial time, we have here Q as 100 milligrams. So first boundary condition. So second boundary condition, guys, in 100 years, say 100 years, that 100 milligrams of radium decomposes. So nagbawa siya to 96 milligrams. So using these two boundary condition, we can solve for K and T. Then what is required is at T equals 200 years, what is Q? So we need to find this. So we just substitute this here, find K and C. Then third is to substitute this and find Q. So let's find C using our first boundary condition. So LN Q equals so KT plus C. So LN First boundary condition, we have here 100 equals so K at time 0 plus C. So therefore, C equals so LN 100. So let's find K, the proportionality constant. So using our second boundary condition, we have LN 96 milligrams equals so K time is 100. So plus C. So in the first equation, we found C that C is equal to so plus LN 100. Then we find K. So K equals, you have here LN 96 minus LN 100. So transposing all over, so divided by 100. So K equals, so let's find K. So here K is negative 4.0822 times 10 raised to negative 4. So we find this too. Let's proceed to our final answer. So what is required here is the amount of the substance, so what is Q at time 200 years. So let's go back to the concept. So ln Q equals, so this is KT plus C. So let's convert this to exponential form. So E raised to, so KT plus C equals Q. So therefore Q equals, so E raised to K. So K is negative 4.0822 
times 10 raised to negative 4. So, T is 200. Plus, so, C is LN 100 as we have found before. So, C is LN 100. So, let's find this Q. So, Q equals, if you have here Q is 92.16 milligrams. Therefore, at time 200 years, radium decomposes to 92.16 milligrams. So, this is our final answer. So, let's try solving another problem. Radium decomposes at a rate proportional to the amount present. So, if the half of the original amount disappears after 1,000 years, what is the percentage lost in 100 years? So, the concept is the differential or the rate of change of the amount of the substance with respect to time is proportional to the amount of the substance at any time t. So, separation of variables, we have here differential of q all over q equals k dt. Then, integration yields ln q equals to kt plus c. So, in the board exam, guys, uh, you probably need to memorize just this para di na kayo mag-derive ng formula. So, here at t0, so at time t equals 0, let's say q equals q sub o. That is our first condition. So, we have no given here since percentage lang ang inahanap. So, at time, we have here 1,000. This is 1,000 years. That is the half-life of the material. So, that is at Q equals so one half of the original. Then, we just substitute this in order to find K and C. So, at T is equal to 0, we have here LN. So, Q sub 0 equals so K times 0 plus C. Therefore, C equals so LN Q sub 0. So, at T equals 1,000, we have here LN. So, that is half-life. So, Q sub 0 original all over 2. So, half-life equals. So, at 1,000 years. So, 1,000. But C equals LN Q sub 0. Then, we can find this K here. So, by loss of logarithm, this can reduce to LN Q sub 0 minus so LN 2 equals. So, 1,000 K plus ln q sub 0. So, here we can see that we have ln q sub 0 both sides. So, it can cancel out. So, subtract ln q sub 0 both sides. So, this will yield to so, k equals so, negative ln 2 all over 1000. So, this is equal to so, this is negative 6.93 times 10 raised to negative 4. So, we find the two constant. Let's proceed to our final answer. What is the percentage loss? So, percentage loss at t equals so 100 years. But before that, let's find what is q at this specific period of time. We have your ln. So, q equals so kt. So, k is so kt plus c. So, ln q equals so k negative 6.93 times 10 raised to negative 4 times t, t is 100 so plus c, so c is ln q sub 0 so we have here ln q equals, so negative 6.93 times 10 raised to negative 4 that is negative 0 0.0693 so plus ln Q sub 0. So we transfer this to the other side. We have here ln Q minus ln Q sub 0 equals so negative 0 0.0693. Loss of logarithm. So ln Q over Q sub 0 equals so this is negative 0 0.0693. Then we have here Let's convert this to exponential. So, we have e raised to negative 0 0.0693 equals to so q all over q sub 0. So, we have here q equals. So, e raised to negative 0 0.0693 q sub 0. So, q equals. So, this is 0 0.933 q sub 0. So, here we can say that at time we have here 100. 
this is a time 100 Q equals so 93.3% of Q sub 0. So therefore, the percentage loss is equal to, so the original is 100% of course, minus you have here 93.3%. So this is the percentage at T equals 100. So percentage of the original, so 93.3%. Therefore, the percentage loss is 100% minus that percentage here. So 93.3%. So percentage loss equals so 100 minus 93.3. So that is 6.7%. So let's solve our last sample problem. So last problem guys, we have find the half-life of a radioactive substance if 3 quarters of it is present after 8 hours. So we have the concept, same concept that L and Q, you have derived this, is equal to KT plus C. So first condition we have here at time equals 0. So initial, you have here Q is initial. So Q sub 0. So at time, 8 hours. So it reduces to 3 fourths or 3 quarters of its original. So therefore Q here is 3 fourths of the original. Q sub 0. Then, ang inahanap natin is find the half-life. Meaning, what is time at Q equals half-life. So, Q sub 0 all over 2. So, 1 half of the original mass of the substance. So, let's apply our boundary condition. So, first, so ln Q sub 0 substitute. You have here K times T. Dito muna tayo sa first boundary condition. Times 0 plus C. So therefore, C equals so ln Q sub 0. We have this. Then let's proceed to our proportionality constant. So ln, so our Q for the second boundary condition, we have here 3 fourths of our original substance equals so K, that is at time 8 hours, so plus C, but C is ln Q sub 0. So here this can be expressed as so ln, so Q sub 0 all over, you have here 4 thirds. We just transpose this in order for us to separate these two expressions. You have here equals, so 8K plus ln Q sub 0. So logarithm of a quotient, so we have here ln Q sub 0 minus ln 4 thirds equals so 8k plus ln q sub 0. So we have here, as you can see, we have ln q sub 0 both sides, so we can cancel this out. So this reduced to k equals so negative ln 4 thirds all over 8. So k equals so negative 0 0.03596. So this is our proportionality constant. So let's proceed to our final answer. We are going to find half-life or the time wherein the mass of the substance or the radioactive substance reduces to one half. So we have the concept. Let's go back. So ln Q equals so KT plus C. So we are going to find the time wherein the mass reduces to one half of the original or the half-life. So we have here ln, so one half of the original, so Q sub 0 all over 2 equals so k k is negative 0 0.03596 so time plus so c is ln q sub 0 so using the loss of logarithm you have here ln q sub 0 so minus ln 2 equals so negative 0 0.03596 t plus ln q sub 0 so we have here ln q sub 0, both sides, so we can cancel this out. So this reduced to, so we have t equals, so negative ln 2 all over, so we have here negative 0 0.03596. So t equals, cancel na tong dalawa here. So we have this answer as 19 point, approximately 28, so we have here 19.28 hours. So hours is the unit. So this is our final answer.
So that's it guys. I hope that you have learned from this video. So as we go along, mag-discuss pa tayo ng other applications of differential equation. So ang next topic natin is population growth. Then the next that, that is Newton's law of cooling. Then we have our flow rate problems. Then we will solve miscellaneous applications of differential equation. Thank you guys for watching this video and hope that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you for supporting this and I hope to see you on my next video. See you guys and God bless.